right, here we go. Welcome back, everybody. We are going to be doing something enjoyable here with Onshape. Uh, we're going to be making a, a we're going to be learning how to use the whole tool here and make whole notes um, using a technical drawing. So this one, the geometry is not so important. We're simply going to make a rectangle and extrude it. And of course, we'll give it some some dimensions, right? We, we won't be completely crazy. Let's go four by one here. Uh, dimension four. And we'll go, we'll go one right here. Okay. Now, I think that's fine. And let's go ahead and extrude. And we would probably be well advised to be a little more careful. Um, to like center everything, but I don't think it's going to matter too much in this case. Very simple part that we're making. Let's go ahead and extrude it maybe two inches so that we have plenty of room to uh, put holes through there. Okay, so let's do that. And then here we go. We're going to start a sketch on this top surface again. And uh, this time I will put in some construction lines here. So let me grab a construction line and let me grab that constraint right there, that midpoint constraint automatically without, uh, you know, having to put it on there myself. You can actually see it's black already because it's constrained to go all the way across, have the two coincident constraints and have those midpoint constraints. So anyways, there we go. Now let's go ahead and place a point on this line. So again, this is the point tool. And that might be new here as well. And let's dimension that one. I believe, what did we say? 0.5, I think is right. Okay, and then we're going to use a pattern tool here to place five more holes here. We're gonna do a distance of 0.75. And we're going to do a total of five holes in our pattern. Now it's a little bit hard to see. There are these light blue dots right there. Um, let's click to set everything. And then there we go. We can see our five points right here. Okay. So we've got our points. They're a little bit hard to see, but that's fine. Um, we'll find them. Let's go ahead and grab the hole tool. And the hole tool pops up. We're going to be adding a bunch of holes. Well, not a bunch. We're going to be adding five holes to this, but we're going to be adding different holes. Um, so there's three different types of holes. We can add a simple hole, a counter bore. Let's do the counter bore first. The simple hole is pretty easy to understand, but let's go ahead and throw the counter bore in there and we can talk about what that is and what all these different dimensions are. Um, so a counter bore means that we're drilling out a little space at the top. Uh, in order to fit, you know, the, the top of the bolt inside the part so that the, the bolt head wouldn't be sticking out and be in the way of, you know, some other type of machinery or, you know, just having a more aerodynamic flow, you know, something like that. We, we want to, you know, hide that in there as well. Or we want to hide the top of the bolt in there. Now you can see there's a bunch of diameters. This one's the hole diameter going, the hole that goes all the way in. This is the diameter of that top counter bore. This is the depth of the counter bore and this is the full depth of the hole. Finally, the bottom, uh, you can choose to either have it kind of pointed and conical there at the bottom or you can uh, make it flat. Um, you can also choose ANSI and you can choose different types of holes, clearance tap drilled, and then um, different, you know, sizes. There's like the standard number six screw or like the seven, three eighths bolt, right? Something like that. Um, <clears throat> and you can even specify fits, right? Close, normal, loose. Uh, so it gets pretty specific and you'll see like these, you know, change the diameter slightly of various components. Uh, so anyways, a lot to do there, or a lot to you can kind of mess with, and I'm not making you choose anything super specific. Um, you can just go with that, and then we'll add one more hole here. Now you notice that our sketch disappeared, so we probably want that back. So let's click on that eyeball, bring it back. Now we can add another hole using the eye, so let's pick this one. This one, let's make it a counter sink, very similar to the counter bore, uh, with the exception that the 
the top part is conical to fit sort of like a screw or something in there uh, and it's not cylindrical so let's see again let's choose ANSI for this one let's go for a thinner bolt let's say like let's see what a number four looks like so yeah that would be kind of more appropriate for like a screw or something um, <clears throat> and let's tap this one a little bit deeper Let's go, actually, let's do this. For this one, let's go, instead of going blind, let's go through. So you can see what this will do is it will take all the way through, I think. Yeah, there you go. You can see all the way through it now. Um, so we have the counter sink, and then this is a through hole. Obviously, that removes one uh, dimension here from the bottom where we're uh, specifying the depth of the hole. So anyways, that's about it. Um, I'm going to let you pick make make your full complement of holes make all five holes and get it one at least counter bore one counter sink one standard hole and then lastly let's take a look at our drawings again come over here to the plus sign create that drawing uh you i found out what a b versus an a is it's the size of a paper i think a is the standard like nine by or eight and a half by eleven whereas b is what is it 11 by 17 maybe so let's pick that one why not um and let's go ahead and put our part on there and that looks fine let's go ahead and i think this will be the front view but let's see if it's the top view probably should have looked yeah that's that's good right there okay and actually let's see if we can oh, no, no, no. all right let's see if we can drag this down a little bit yeah that should be good give us a little more room here and then we're going to add right here, if you see this tool, the whole call out. Uh, this is how you can add dimensions to your hole. So let's grab, I, I mean, probably any of this would work, but let's click on it. And you can see there is a lot of information contained. The first one is the pure, you know, um, let me, let's zoom in a little more carefully. There we go. Uh, the first one is the actual hole itself right diameter of 0 0.406 and a depth of one inch and then the counterbore part of it is 0.625 and to a depth of 0.375 and remember this one inch that includes the counterbore as well so the entire depth is not 1.35 the entire depth is one inch and of that one inch 0.375 also includes the counterbore uh, <clears throat> okay, so we can put this last one in here. There we go. And you can see the angle degree of the countersink is on there, the diameter, and, and then the through hole diameter as well. Okay, that's it. That's how you make holes. Uh, pretty easy. We're going to be trying to make a tolerance block or a gauge block, probably would be the right word. Um, for these screws and then we'll test them out and see how accurate our 3d printer is um, and so that'll that should be enjoyable so anyways okay there we go um, I think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and enjoy your whole practice